Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe even good evening, depending on where you are. My name is Timothy Jones. I'm IT Help Desk staff and one of the IT trainers here on campus at SUNY Buffalo State College in Buffalo, New York. And this morning, we're going to be covering a real quick presentation on how to use PowerPoint as your teleprompter. Something we've actually gotten a lot of requests for recently has been for teleprompter style presentation software for a computer. And while there are some, there are plenty of expensive options out there, something as kind of a workaround that actually ends up being a pretty powerful tool once you get into it is one of the features that you can use through the regular version of PowerPoint that all staff and faculty already have access to. So to start this off, we're just going to jump into PowerPoint real quick. And here we have an empty slide. And we're going to want to start off on the Home tab over here. Just jump over to Insert and Text Box. And we're just going to click and drag to create a normal size text box. Uh, we want it to be just a little, just short of as wide as the actual uh, tab is. And I'm just going to jump over to a Word document that we have going. And I'm going to copy this text. And we're going to paste it in here as plain text. And I'm now going to select all, and we're going to resize this. Basically want to make it as big as we would like to based on the size of our screen and the distance we're going to be sitting from our screen. So I'm going to click off and reselect it. So I now have that full text chosen. And what we're going to do is actually drag it up so that we are looking at the very bottom of this text box on the slide we're looking at. I'm just going to drop that there, kind of tweak it around a little bit. And we're going to jump over into the animations tab right here. And from here, we're going to want to choose add animation. And we're going to go down to more entrance effects. And from here, the one we're looking for is called fly in. When you click it, it'll give a preview of what it looks like by default, as you can see, not particularly useful at that speed, but we're just going to click OK now. And what we want to open up while we're still in this animations tab is the animation pane. One more time, that's over here. And I'm going to click that to open it up. And we can see here the animation we just added. And by default, this little green square, that actually shows exactly how long that animation takes to play. So I'm going to hit F5 real quick just to pull up the presentation. And this is how that looks by default, which again, not very useful. What you can do, however, is hover your mouse over the green square right here. And at the middle, the cursor will look like this. That's not quite what we want. I'm going to slide it just a hair over to the right. When you see those two lines, you can click and hold it, and that'll let you change the length of that square. And basically, this is how long the animation takes to complete. So for the block of text I have over here, I want it to take about 40 seconds. So I'm clicking and holding and just hanging out at the edge of the screen as it extends out. And that shows the end point at right about 40 seconds. So I'm going to release there. And now when we actually go in and look at the presentation, the speed of the text is considerably more reasonable. And this is when things start getting useful. And obviously you'll want to tailor the combination of how long that text takes to scroll and how large you have set the text itself. Very personal sort of thing. And actually just to show you how it'll look in the end, I've made a second slide with a couple of my own preferences in here. I'm going to run this real quick just to give you a look at how it'll be. Started up on the wrong slide there. Try that one more time. So with the setup from the previous parts of this video, this is what the result looks like. And I'm personally a fan of making the slide background black and using white text. It's just a visibility preference, but you can tailor that however you like using the normal PowerPoint settings. I'll reiterate that when you expand the length of the animation in the animation pane, you're choosing how quickly you want the text to progress. And again, this is all down to your individual preference but slower is almost always better than too fast. And you can add in as much or as little visual markup for yourself as is useful. And you'll eventually get a system down that works best for you. Over time, and as you get a little more comfortable using the tool this way, there are additional ways that you can kind of customize it to your own presentation style. 
something as simple as using different teleprompter blocks on different slides can go a long way to helping you organize your thoughts on the fly as you're working through a larger presentation. As always, feel free to contact the IT Help Desk at Buffalo State College. You can email us at ithelpdesk at buffalostate.edu. You can get us on the phones at 878-HELP. That's 878-4357. And you can always log in and put in support tickets at itportal.buffalostate.edu.